Hey there folks, Lane here with Windows10Update.com and today I'm going to be showing you what is new in the brand new Windows Insider Preview Build 10586. Now we are kind of expecting this build to be the official build that is used for the fall update to Windows 10 that will come out to everyone, not only to insiders. And one of the reasons for that is that really one of the only visual changes in this build is that the watermark that showed the build uh, number is no longer um, displaying down here. So that is uh, nice for insider me members that want to have a nice clean desktop. And that's really one of only two major visual changes. Most of the changes in this build are bug fixes. The other major change is coming to Microsoft Edge. So there is a new build of Microsoft Edge in this build of Windows. And in the past, the previews for the tabs have always just kind of shown a you know black square here. Those previews have not worked well, um, but they do appear to be working pretty well at this point. I haven't seen any glitches with this uh, at this point. Now you can see the other changes that are in this build over here at the Microsoft uh, experience or Windows experience blog. Um, so there were some issues like with the Surface Pro 3 when you would push the power button it would actually shut down the device. You could change that manually in the settings but it was kind of annoying in the uh, previous build. Um, and then there are some other issues here. Um, this I kept seeing this issue, issue the uh, disk snapshot.exe command prompt kept just coming up uh, every few minutes. Um, so that's been fixed as well. Um, some fixes for smaller form factor uh, devices. There are some known issues. Um, however, I don't notice anything particularly serious here. So one thing you will want to know, if you do use Skype messages or the Skype video application in Windows 10, um, you may need to go ahead and follow this in, uh, set of instructions here to go ahead and get your contact information back into those applications. And then as well, the Insider Hub might disappear after you install this build. That I guess just, just, just depends on a number of different factors, um, but you can easily add that back. So there are only two known issues in this build, which is pretty impressive. Um, so that's, again, good reason that this may be a candidate for the official fall update for Windows 10. So that's all that's new. Thanks so much for watching.